in this video i am going to talk about the bayes theorem and i'll also talk about the bayes rule used uh, in in different situations so let's uh, take an example so here is an example uh, there is a set s which is a combination of four different sets e1 e2 e3 and e4 and set a is a subset of set s okay so that's the scenario now we want to find out we are trying to find out what is the conditional probability of uh, e1 uh, given given that uh, given a so given a the conditional probability of e1 will fall somewhere here right because that's the common uh, common area so this area divided by uh, the total area of a right so that's the conditional probability that probability of e1 given a similarly the probability of e2 uh, given a will be uh, this probability this area and then probability uh, of a which is the total one right so mathematically we can write it as probability of e1 intersection a divided by probability of a right similarly we can also write probability uh, of e2 uh, intersection a divided by probability of a so when we generalize this we write that probability of ei which is i stands for the generalization whether it's 1 2 3 or 4 given a that is the pro uh, conditional probability of uh, ei happening given a so a is an event so uh, it it is uh, given that a event is happening and what is the probability that uh, 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 ei is happening or e1 e2 e3 or e4 is happening right so when we uh, you know relate that to some sort of an event because probability is always related to some sort of an event we will understand in that fashion okay so probability of ei given a is equal to probability of ei intersection a uh, upon uh, probability of a so that's we just you know generalize from uh, the previous two equations so we calling it as equation 1 now let's go to uh, um, to the uh, you know the bayes rule and how we derive so from here on we'll derive the bayes rule all right so what's bayes rule is all about well so bayes rule using bayes rule we can uh, calculate the probability of uh, ei uh, given a uh, given that uh, we we have got uh, you know two different probabilities probability of a given ei and probability of ei right so if you compare this probability and this one you will see that uh, you know it's just the opposite right so here it is probability of uh, event ei given that event a is happening and it's exactly opposite here probability of event a happening given uh, probability of uh, event ei happening now if these two probability of a given ei is known to us and probability of ei is also known to us we should be able to find out what is probability of ei given a and this is very useful many a times where you know the conditional probability of one event is known to us and we want to find the conditional probability of some other event right and if they are uh, interrelated so uh, say uh, event a uh, and event e are interrelated so uh, if one of this event is uh, the probability of that happening is known to us we should be able to find the probability of uh, you know happening the other event which is related to that that's exactly and the finding out the relationship between these two type of uh, you know probabilities uh, is is known as the bayes theorem and, and the formula is actually known as the bayes rule so here is the de de derivation so from equation 1 okay so in the equation 1 the previous slide uh, we can simply say that probability of e uh, ei intersection a is equal to probability of a multiplied to probability of ei given a which is nothing but we simply multiplied this denominator here okay so this is equal to you know we just took the uh, denominator here and in you know in simply multiplied here so we took it to left hand and you know so this is one right so from equation 1 we got this now probability of uh, 
no simply we change a and ei okay we take a to left and ei to right so what it turns out that we get probability of ei using the same formula right what we uh, saw in equation 1 its probability of a given ei right so all we have done is we have simply interchanged uh, ei uh, ei with a and a with ei Right, so the uh, format uh, is it's exactly same. It's you have just interchanged uh, EI with uh, A and A with EI. Now, how can we ch change that and why it is so? Because probability of EI give uh, intersection A is, is exactly equal to probability of A intersection EI. So they are exactly same. Now, this is part one of the derivation. In the part two of the derivation. Uh, we will introduce what is known as the law of total probability. So, the law of pro total probability says that probability of A is equal to summation of probability of intersection of EI with A. And uh, it is a summation across all, all EIs, right? And which makes sense, right? Probability of A is nothing but uh, the intersection part for all probabilities EI with A. That means it says that entire a entire a look at my cursor entire a is nothing but the summation of all these smaller smaller pieces right for this piece this piece this piece and this one right which is perfectly logical right so we write it like this summation of probability ei intersection a right now look at this two equation this one this one and this one so from equation one we just re uh, re rewrite the equation one so this is equation one we have written it now in the numerator part we have probability of ei intersection a and this can be uh, this can be written uh, equal to probability of ei multiplied to probability of a given ei because probability of ei intersection A is equal to probability of A intersection EI from this equation, right? So we simply substitute this part, this part in the numerator, in the numerator, right? In the denominator from the total probability, we have probability of A is equal to summation of probability of EI intersection A. So that also we have, uh, we will we'll need to, uh, you know, put it in the denominator and exactly I have done it. Now simply use uh, you know expansion of this probability of EI intersection of A and whatever we have from uh, the uh, you know the second uh, the first part of the uh, derivation we just put it in the numerator and we just also put it in the denominator. So in the denominator we are uh, replacing uh, with um, this post, uh, this uh, this part from this equation and then you know again replacing with uh, this one. So in the final formula, you can see that uh, conditional probability of uh, EI given A can be found out if we know only two things, uh, the probability of E and the conditional probability uh, of A given EI, right? So, uh, so what the base rule tells uh, gives us is that if you know the conditional probability of one event happening uh, which is related to the other one you can find the probability of uh, the conditional probability of the other event using the first information issue.